can sit there and add in new shit, so it's always getting more thorough. But and if yeah. you're there long enough, you can even mark on the uh, on the tripod. Yeah. Good. Probably makes sense too. Which stuff we might end up because the current plan for two ones AO still is like three or four day aerosols. Yeah. So you come in, we're gonna be a legit patrol base off. We're gonna have to set up the guns, set up the range cards. And so we'll be fucking you know, rucking and humping for about three days, doing missions, and then getting picked up at a different LZ. You can almost bet the guns will be on the last fucking lift. Hmm. Yeah, these guys are identical pretty much. These two dogs right here, they're like practically identical. Well, for us, if we only have two guns, we won't be able to do really FPLs. Probably have a gun at the 6, a gun at the 12. Do Everything, everything, everything is rotated around these. Yeah. Especially in patrol days, Bob. If you pull, yeah. So in theory, if you pull both the guns, you pull both the guns out of the fucking patrol base, there should still be a 360. Mm -hmm. Because those the guns always have to move. And you don't, you never open up with the guns unless you absolutely have to. Because then you let them know you have those big machine guns. Or the position of those big or, machine guns to move around or create a flanking maneuver. you're going to be best suited to be there. But, with that, the PL, whether it is the legit PL or just the patrol leader, he's going to be giving you, uh, if we get, you know, if we lose the guns, claymores, if we get them, 18 boards, if we get them, you're going to get engagement criteria. I.e., if you see four dudes coming up, open up with a gun. Or if you see any sort of vehicle, use the 